Whether you want to celebrate Valentine's Day on your own or you want to go on a solo date with yourself to celebrate your birthday or just in general if it's not for any celebration day, well, look no further because you are in the right place. Because I have prepared a couple of self-love and self-care activities as well as quite a lot of fun activities that you can choose from to create your ideal and perfect solo date for yourself. Before I start sharing all of the activities for your solo date, let me share something important that you should keep in mind for your solo date. The important thing for your date with yourself that you should keep in mind is the fact that there's no right or wrong way to spend your date with yourself. The only right way to spend your time for your date with yourself is to spend time doing a couple of activities or more if you want to based on your likes and desires and based on how many activities you want to do for your date with yourself. And along with that, taking care of yourself in a way that makes you feel loved, appreciated and special. I mean, who doesn't want to feel loved, appreciated and special on their date with themselves. I mean, I certainly do. And so I hope that's the case with you as well. If you can spend money for your date with yourself, well, absolutely no problem. I got you. Because in this video, you have plenty of ideas on how to go on a date with yourself for free where you don't have to spend any money. So that's amazing, right? Besides, you don't need to spend money to make yourself feel loved, appreciated, and special. Because that's the truth, you don't. You can choose quite a lot of activities from this video that you can mix and match to create your perfect date for yourself. Start your day for your solo date. I want you and I need you to put on a cute outfit. It doesn't matter whether you're staying at home or even going out. You deserve to look and feel pretty today for your date with yourself. Just like if you're going out on a date with a cute guy, I mean, you will get ready and put on a cute outfit, maybe do your makeup, then do the same thing for yourself. You don't wanna be like, Oh my gosh, it's just myself. It doesn't matter because you would put in the effort for someone else. Then why wouldn't you do that for yourself? I deserve to look pretty and feel pretty about myself. I deserve to put effort into myself. You deserve to look and feel pretty about yourself today. So it doesn't matter whether you're staying at home or whether you're going out because when you put on a cute outfit, you look pretty and when you look pretty you feel pretty it makes me feel cute like i deserve to put effort into myself you can go extra on your date when it comes to your looks it doesn't matter you do you do whatever makes you feel pretty and look nice on your date with yourself even if you're staying at home you can wear something that looks cute and you feel pretty in and but it's still comfortable because you'll be staying at home and nobody likes to wear something that's uncomfortable okay and you can wear makeup if you want to but honestly you don't absolutely don't have to if you don't want to because it's your date with yourself and you get to decide if you want to wear makeup or not, if you just want to do a simple touch up with mascara and lip gloss or lip tint or whatever you prefer, then you can do that as well. I'll leave it up to you. And of course, we can't forget about our hair. Our hair cannot look like Willy Wonka on our date with ourselves. So it doesn't matter whether you're staying at home or going out. For example, I only like curl my bangs when I'm at home, straighten it curl it, and that's it. Other than that, I really don't have to do anything. It's your date. You get to decide how you want to look for the day, for your date. So either at home or if you're going out, I'll leave it up to you, however you want to style your hair. So the first self-love activity that I absolutely want you to do is that I want you to compliment yourself when you start your day and as well as when you have your cute outfit on. So we have to compliment ourselves just in general on a daily basis, but also when we are looking hot and pretty. 
you deserve to make yourself feel amazing about yourself for the wonderful queen and king that you are. And also, I flirt with myself, like, a lot. Like, watch this. And I'll be like, you know, those lips, they look so pink and juicy. Like, it makes me even want to kiss them. I literally have done this the other day. On this channel, we embrace flirting with ourselves. Because it makes me feel special for the queen that I am. And make yourself feel special for the queen and king that you are. At the start of your day in the morning is that I want you to give yourself a big hug and show yourself some love and appreciation. You can also kiss your arm if you want to like this. So kiss your hand like this. Wait. Because on this channel, we embrace practicing self-love and being our own lover, giving ourselves a big hug and kissing our hand. I don't think this is a weird thing to do because I love myself and I deserve to show appreciation and love towards myself in a physical way, as in like kissing my hand, you know, hugging myself because I deserve it. I love myself. For all the people whose love language is physical touch, you are going to love this. This. but even if your love language is not physical touch of course you can still do this now the next self-love activity that you can do for your date with yourself is that i want you to write yourself a love letter doesn't it sound nice i love writing myself a love letter i think it's a really um, fun but also deep way of showing appreciation love respect for myself but also to make myself feel special. So your love letter can be as detailed as you wanted it to be and also romantic and very deep as well. So for example, I love your smile. It brightens up my day just like the sun. I think that's a cute compliment that I gave myself because I love my smile. I mean, you can give yourself a compliment similar like that. I honestly it can be any type of compliment another example would be you're like my sunshine on a rainy day so you can start your love letter by complimenting your physical appearance any features that you like and love about yourself but as my love letters continue it goes way deeper than just my physical appearance but of course i think it's really important to complement our physical appearance and our features like i know the importance of feeling beautiful and hot and pretty and seeing your own beauty that you are that you have and I feel like it's important to see your own beauty and compliment that and compliment the features that you love and like about yourself. So I'll start my love letter that way. And then I want you to continue writing your love letter and start complimenting parts about yourself that you really love, find beautiful, that you appreciate. Like for example, you know, I really love that you are such a deep person. I love that you feel things so deeply. And I love that you see beyond the surface level when it comes to everything. And I love the way you think. And I love the way that you see the world. I love reflecting with you on so many things. I love talking with you. I love seeing the world through your eyes. I feel like that's a very deep compliment to give yourself. That's a compliment that I gave myself. I love seeing the world through my own eyes. And you can think about certain parts of your personality, aspects of yourself that you find beautiful, that you appreciate, where you're like, I really like that about myself. I really find that beautiful about myself. You know, I appreciate that about myself a lot and compliment when it comes to that aspect and part about yourself. Because that was an example of you acknowledging, complimenting and appreciating, showing gratitude and love for that part of yourself, seeing the beauty of that part of yourself. 
So when you're finished with this part, complementing certain aspects or parts about yourself, you can then continue on writing about what you are proud about when it comes to yourself. And the thing is, sweetheart, I mean, it doesn't have to be always an accomplishment. It can be. Be proud of your accomplishments because a lot of people downplay their own accomplishments. So be proud of that. And along with that, I want you to think about the hardships that you have gone through. A time when it was difficult and write down what you feel proud about when it comes to yourself. The changes that you've been making. You are working out maybe, you know, that's what you wanted from yourself and now you're doing that. Look at the changes that you've been making that you wanted to make and that you are making. Look at the progress that you've been making and write down exactly what you feel proud about yourself when it comes to that. So yeah, these are the examples that I gave you towards writing your love letter that's going to make you feel special, but also loved, appreciated, and proud of yourself. And know that you deserve to write this to yourself. The next fun activity that you can do for yourself is that you can sing yourself a song to make yourself feel special. Let me give you an example of what that looks like. So it's like, as you know, love songs makes you feel special, especially if someone would sing a love song to you. I mean, who wouldn't feel special? I mean, I would. And so basically, I sing a love song to myself while looking at myself in front of the mirror because this is important. You need to look at yourself in front of the mirror because otherwise, who are you singing to? And so I'll be looking at myself in front of the mirror like this, okay? And I'll sing myself a love song. I am not asking you to sing like Ariana Grande or Selena Gomez, like no. So I don't care if you're like, Lamisha, my singing voice suck, or like I'm really bad at singing. Sweetheart, here's the thing. I want you to have fun. I want you to let loose. That's the whole point of this fun activity is that you don't have to take yourself too seriously. I mean, yes, if you can sing really beautifully, then go for it. Cool, but the purpose of this fun activity is to speak the words. The intention behind singing yourself that song in front of the mirror. And I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect either. For me, it isn't perfect either, you know. Sometimes I lip sync in the middle of it, you know. But most of the time I try to sing, you know, take yourself less seriously and just have fun and let loose, okay. So you can take literally any love song. Uh, even the Love You Like a Love Song by Selena Gomez. Ugh, I love that song. I believe this is a very fun and cute way to make yourself feel special about yourself. I mean, I would feel special if someone would sing me a love song. I think that's quite romantic. I deserve to make myself feel special about myself. And you deserve that as well. And especially on your date with yourself. I mean, it's important to make yourself feel special and giddy and lovey-dovey on your date with yourself. And let me know in the comments down below which love song you have chosen for this fun activity. I would love to know that. So the next activity that you can do for your date with yourself is that you can have a spa day at home. Doesn't it sound so relaxing? I mean, who doesn't want to have a spa day? I mean, I most certainly do. Usually people take long baths for their spa day at home. However, if you can take a bath or if you don't want to take a bath, because I know the water bill can get pretty high. And so that's very understandable. If you can take a bath, then absolutely no problem. You can take a long shower. And by the way, long showers can be pretty relaxing as well, especially if you set the mood in your bathroom. So play some relaxing music in the background. If you have one of those steamers like humidifiers, you can put some essential oils like lavender in it to really set the mood in your bathroom for like a spa day at home. So you can really do that. For the people that do want to take a bath and can take a bath, 
Well, you can buy yourself some very amazing smelling bath bombs or one of those bath soaps that smells so amazing. Along with you taking a bath or taking a long shower, you can prepare a body scrub for yourself. If you already bought a body scrub, then you can skip the step. But for the people that don't have a body scrub at home, you can make your own body scrub at home. It is so easy to do. You only need three to four ingredients to do this. You can use your body scrub as your lip scrub as well if you made your body scrub with sugar. I mean, who doesn't want to have plump and juicy lips? I mean, I certainly do. And by the way, you can also make your own face mask at home. It's so easy to do. Now, there are a lot of types of face masks that you can do at home depending on what you need for your skin. So you can choose whatever kind of face mask you want to do at home. We cannot forget about our nails. They cannot look like crusty, dusty, and musty. So when it comes to uh, your spa day, you can give yourself a mani or pedicure. It can be very simple, sweet. It doesn't have to be fancy or complicated, to be honest. If you want to take the spa day a little to the next level, then for your pedicure, you can give yourself a foot bath. I mean, technically speaking, if you've already taken a bath, you don't need to. But if you've taken a shower, then you can do a foot bath for your feet and show them some love and care because we can forget about our feet and you know it's important that they look moisturized healthy if you want to you can do a foot bath but you don't have to but that's optional moving on to the next activity which is that you can cook yourself a delicious meal i mean as you can tell i'm literally in the kitchen right now you don't have to cook a fancy meal although if you want to you can absolutely do that you can think about something that's very simple and easy to make and something that you really like to eat and something that you find really delicious there are so many easy recipes out there that only require like a couple of ingredients and it tastes amazing okay so you can look for any recipes or any dish you haven't tried out that's like very easy to make or just stick with very simple and very delicious instant ramen noodles. Another option would be you can make fries or my favorite, which I do literally every single time, which is cheesy roasted fried potato wedges and it's so easy to make and it tastes like heaven okay if you're like me and you love potatoes you're gonna love this so the thing is the fact that you don't have to be great at cooking for you to cook something that's easy and simple to cook for me personally it's a very nice and fun activity that you can do for your date with yourself maybe you can also watch a movie or your favorite series or if you are into books then you can read a book while enjoying your meal but yeah I'll leave it up to you for you to decide what you want to cook now for the people that want to eat something sweet you can bake yourself something sweet for yourself it doesn't have to be fancy something hard to bake it can be something that's very easy and simple to bake like maybe like chocolate chip cookies or muffins i mean muffins are honestly quite easy to bake depending on what type of muffin you want to bake but uh, there are very simple muffin recipes out there they are so delicious and easy to bake so you can check those recipes out on youtube but yeah honestly if you want to go big uh, for your dessert or something sweet that you want to eat then go for it. Like if you really like baking and it's really fun for you, if you want to do a little bit of extra when it comes to baking or cooking, of course, go ahead and do that for yourself. But yeah, I'll leave it up to you for you to decide whatever you want to bake. Moving on to the next fun activity that you can do for your date, which is that you can dance in your room to your favorite music or outside if you want to. But Technically speaking, I would prefer to do it inside. I don't care if you consider yourself someone that sucks at dancing. I don't care. But uh, what I am going to tell you is the fact that dancing is about moving your body and feeling the music. I mean, have you ever seen a kid dance before? 
they just get consumed by the music and it's so beautiful to see them like be in their own little bubble in their own little world and so turn on your favorite music and in your room dance like nobody's watching feel the music i mean let the music consume you step into an imaginary world it's just you and the music what does it feel like to dance to your favorite music for example if i dance to alana del rey music it will be more like a beautiful ballet contemporary dance movement rather than if i dance to selena gomez hit the lights music which is one of my favorite music it will be more like upbeat and it will be more like fun and partying vibe. I mean, that's what dancing is about. It's the enjoyment of the movement through your body that gets activated through music. Having fun, letting loose and channeling your inner child. Maybe dance to your favorite childhood song. That might be a very fun experience for your inner child. This is such a fun activity that you can do for your day with yourself. Have fun, let loose, be silly. This experience should be fun and playful and letting loose and having the best time with yourself when it comes to you dancing your favorite music. Moving on to the next fun activity that you can do for your date, which is a classic, which is that you can watch a movie or your favorite series or a series that you haven't watched that you want to watch. You can watch that on your date with yourself. If you've been busy and you didn't have the time to watch a movie or binge a couple of episodes of your favorite series, what better time to do that than on your date with yourself? If you're like me and you love watching movies and series at home, you can continue to watch movies and series at home. But if you love going to the cinema, then you can take yourself out to the cinema and also, if you're into books, then you can binge on reading your favorite books. Have fun watching your movie or series, whichever one you chose. Or have fun reading your favorite book. And don't give a F about what people think if you decide to take yourself out to a cinema. Because it's like, those people are afraid to go to the cinema by themselves. So it's like, what's the point even caring about their opinion? You get what I'm saying? So it's like, have fun, sweetheart. It's your day with yourself. Don't let anyone ruin your day with yourself. Now, if you're like me and you love to take walks, then take a walk outside in nature. I mean, I'm literally at the park right now, as you can tell. But anyways, it's such a beautiful weather. And oh my gosh, I love taking walks. And so if you love taking walks as well, then please do so for your date with yourself. Pretty sure that if you take walks regularly, I mean, it wouldn't be like, a new activity for you to do for your date with yourself if the weather is so beautiful and sunny then taking a walk outside in nature might be just the thing for you there's something important that i want to share with you if you do decide to take a walk for your date with yourself is the fact that there is a difference between being consciously with yourself and spending time with yourself versus being by yourself alone what I want you to do is the fact that if you want to connect with yourself on a deeper level, I want you to take a walk outside in nature, no phone, without any distractions, music, talking to someone, or I don't know, listening to a podcast. I want you to just be with yourself. And then I want you to start connecting with yourself as in like, hey, how have I been feeling lately? You know, what is going on internally inside of me? Like, how have I been feeling the last couple of weeks? It's like, do I need something from myself? And it may be the fact that you need to have a conversation with yourself, but you've been so distracted about thinking about someone or thinking about your career or what you need to get done that you didn't even think about yourself. And that's the thing. I want I want you to take a walk with the intention of connecting with yourself and that is the difference between consciously spending time with yourself versus unconsciously being by yourself alone but like in your mind you're distracted and thinking about someone or thinking about work thinking about something else today is about you you're on a date with yourself 
and so take the focus back onto you choosing to get in touch with yourself to get in touch with your emotional needs to get in touch with how you're feeling so that you can know how to take care of yourself emotionally after you had a long deep conversation with yourself after that can then enjoy and listen to some music because who doesn't love music i mean i do and it's a beautiful thing to listen to music and just you know relax and take your mind off of a lot of things and so yeah have fun and enjoy your date with yourself for your date with yourself you can buy yourself something very sweet and simple which may be chocolate or if you're like me and you're obsessed with chips then you can buy yourself some chips i mean honestly i love chips i'm obsessed with chips you can buy yourself flowers i mean obviously if you're going on a date with yourself on valentine's day then you may want to buy yourself some flowers and chocolate <laughs> who even watches movies and series without snacks it's illegal so yeah, buy yourself some flowers and your favorite snacks of any kind or chocolate. Which leads me to my next activity, which is that take yourself out to a restaurant or a cute cafe. If you can afford that and you can do that, then go ahead and do that. This activity is not for the people that don't want to spend money. So this may not be for you. It really depends on what kind of restaurants you go to and how expensive it is or depending on the cafe that you go to and what kind of pastries you buy. If you're staying in for your date, you can also order takeout if you don't want to cook for yourself. That's another option as well. Because on our date with ourselves, we want to fill our stomach with some delicious food, okay? Whether that be you cooking for yourself or ordering takeout or going out to eat. Whatever it might be, I'll leave it up to you. If you're like me and you love to go to the park because you want to swing or you want to slide down the slide, then going to the park might be the best idea for you for your date because I mean, honestly, I cannot get enough of me going to the park and swinging and having fun and going down the slide and being a kid again. I do that to connect with my inner child and also my inner child taught me to not give a about what people think about me and so that is quite an important lesson that you can learn by going to the park alone and so if you've never done that that also might be a very fun activity for you is to try something that you've never done before and I don't know move out of your comfort zone the truth is the fact that many adults are afraid to go to the park because they care about what people think about them I don't I have learned to not care about what people think about me wait if you're like me and you love swinging like I am this might be the activity that is for you because I highly recommend this activity honestly I cannot get enough of me going to the park and to swing and so yeah have fun and enjoy your date with yourself now if you're like me and you love journaling then you may want to add this activity for your day with yourself however I'm going to give you a couple of questions that for your journaling session with yourself to connect with yourself on a deeper level because you're on a date with yourself and you may want to take this opportunity to connect with yourself on a deeper level through your journaling session with yourself. So check the description box down below because I have prepared some journaling prompts for you for your journaling session with yourself that you can write down and ask yourself to connect with yourself on a deeper level. If you're asking Lamisha, why should I do this on a date with myself? The reason for that is because many people do not have a weekly check-in with themselves where they sit down and really take the time to connect with themselves emotionally to see like what's going on internally. And so you may want to take this opportunity on a date with yourself to sit down and ask yourself questions that's going to help you to connect with yourself emotionally on a deeper level and help you gain awareness to how you're feeling, what you may be needing from yourself. As I've mentioned before, while I was talking about connecting 
with yourself while taking a walk and consciously deciding to spend time with yourself instead of thinking about something else or work or someone else. While I was telling you guys about writing yourself a love letter and how that can emotionally make you feel loved and special and validated just like that a good journaling session can help you make yourself feel seen heard and loved so asking yourself specific questions while journaling can help you uncover a lot about yourself so yeah i highly recommend this activity so the next fun activity you can do for your date with yourself is that you can do a cute little diy project with yourself you can create those cute little bracelets for yourself at home and right now i'm showing you the video of the type of bracelets that i'm talking about so that you get an idea of what i'm talking about i think some people are not familiar with these bracelets but maybe you are but not that many people I don't know but yeah I think this is a cute little fun activity that you can do for yourself so have fun and let me know in the comments down below if you've created any bracelets for yourself now for the next fun activity I'm pretty sure that almost I guess almost everyone has painting materials from the time they used it in school if you have painting materials at home then you may want to paint something fun and cute for your room to decorate a little bit this painting that you see right here is actually one of a very fun and cool project to do with washi tape so the white line that you see i put washi tape on the white lines that you see right here and all the other spaces that was filled i just basically colored it and it just gives you like this cool uh zigzag effect kind of a thing so yeah you can honestly paint or draw anything that you like but this idea is pretty fun i, I want to do this painting again something very similar to this so that i can hang it on the wall for my room so you can bring some color into your room by painting something beautiful or something that's easy and simple and very cute it doesn't have to be fancy okay if you don't have painting materials at home then don't worry you can draw anything that you like or you can draw something that means something to you like maybe you can write down a quote and draw something around it to make it a little bit more beautiful and every time you walk by this quote in your room it can motivate you and inspire you a lot i'll leave it up to you to decide whatever cute something that you want to paint and there are so many cute painting ideas like oh my gosh i'm showing you a couple of examples right now there are so many things that you can paint they are so easy to do and it's also so much fun to do as well i'm literally giving you examples of these paintings that i came across on youtube and this girl i swear to god she is so amazing don't pressure yourself to like do things perfectly this should be a cute little fun activity for your date with yourself if the weather is going to be beautiful on the day you're going to have a date with yourself well then you can go on a picnic with yourself so you can go on a picnic with yourself and eat all of your favorite fruits and snacks that you love to eat you know one of those charcuterie boards that you can make i love those charcuterie boards having a picnic with yourself is such a fun idea you can have your favorite fiction book that you love to read i think this is a very fun activity that you can do for your date and especially on a hot summer day when it's summer season or spring season so yeah i'll leave it up to you if you want to have a picnic with yourself or not and if you do then let me know in the comments down below i think it's a very cute idea have fun on your picnic now along with that in summer season or in spring season i think it's better to go outside and do a fun activities than riding a bike to a beautiful location seems like such a fun idea especially when music is playing in the background i mean in your phone on a hot summer day it's like oh my gosh it's such a beautiful thing to do have fun and let me know in the comments down below if you choose to ride a bike to a beautiful location and have have your picnic there with yourself 
Now the next fun activity that you can do for your date is that you can take yourself out to go shopping with yourself. It's as simple as that. Buy yourself something cute um, or meaningful. If you've been eyeing on a dress or if you've been wanting to buy something that you need to buy for yourself, you can do that. So yeah, or you can just browse. Sometimes you just want to browse and not buy anything. I mean, you can do that as well. For the people that want to spice up their date a little bit, you can honestly get a new haircut at the salon or you can cut your own hair at home, which is something that I do. I love the feeling of a new fresh haircut. Don't do anything crazy that will end up making your day worse and making you regret your new hairstyle. I mean, as a woman, I love giving myself new haircuts. It's just, it's amazing. It's like you feel like a brand new person after a new fresh haircut but yeah honestly you can give yourself a new haircut or go to the salon and let a professional do it for you moving on to the next fun activity that you can do for your date which is that you can buy yourself tickets to go and visit a museum that you've never been to or you can visit an art gallery for all my art and history lovers I think this is an activity that you are going to love and you can try it out for your date with yourself. Along with that, if you want to satiate your desire for spontaneity and adventure, then you can visit a place in your city that you've never been to and take some pictures and videos so that you can watch it when you're at home. And see if you like the place or not. I mean, I think it's a cool idea for the people that are feeling a bit adventurous and maybe a bit spontaneous and you just want to visit a place that you've never been to in your city. I think it's a fun idea that you can add to for your date with yourself, especially if you love to go to unknown places that you've never been to and you're going to love this idea. If you're a book lover like me, then you're going to love this activity, which is that for your date with yourself, you can go to a library and either buy any book that you want to buy or you can just browse through the books and read them and maybe next time you're gonna buy yourself a book if you can't decide which book that you want to buy for yourself or you can buy yourself some books now for your date with yourself as a kind of like a small gift for yourself so have fun for your trip to the library and on your date with yourself now a simple activity that you can do to show yourself some some appreciation as well as to be vulnerable with yourself and your naked body is that you can give yourself a massage I'm talking about after you've taken your long shower or your bath you can give yourself a long massage with your favorite oil what you're going to do is that you're going to look at yourself in front of the mirror slowly but surely start massaging your body and really take your time with it after you're finished with your massaging session with yourself you're going to take a moment and really connect with yourself and your body i want you to put your hands on your chest like this like both hands and i want you to say something to thank your body for all the work that it does for you and I want you to take this moment to really say thank you to your body. Give yourself a big hug while being naked. This is about focusing on what your body does for you. All the amazing things it does for you to be healthy so that you can be fit, so that you can be strong, so that you can be alive. And looking in front of the mirror and, you know appreciating the person that's in front of you without makeup without clothes without anything this is something that i do quite a lot every now and then it helped me to have more compassion for myself and my body for all it does for me and to really show gratitude and appreciation for my body to be naked and to look at yourself in front of the mirror 
and connecting with yourself and your body can be intimate and vulnerable. So yeah, this is quite a special practice that I do to connect with myself and my body and to express gratitude towards my body. Now to spice up this experience, you can put your favorite lingerie that makes you feel beautiful, sensual, you get what I'm saying? And turn on one of your favorite music that makes you feel like a goddess or that makes you feel sensual and allow your body to dance slowly and sensually because this type of slow and sensual dancing will help you to connect with your divine feminine energy and as well as it will help you to tap into your inner goddess. I want you to feel like a beautiful sensual goddess that you are when you are dancing slowly and sensually to your favorite music that makes you feel like a goddess. And by the way, you don't have to wear lingerie if you don't want to. In fact, you can dance naked if you want to. Just saying, it will help you to become more confident in your naked body. And if you're like, Lamisha, I'm not a good dancer, or like, how should I move? Or like, sweetheart, there's no right or wrong way to move sensually. And allow your body to experience what it's like to move your body when it comes to your favorite song that makes you feel sensual and like a goddess. It's just however your body wants to move, let it move. You can touch your arms or your legs. Feel yourself, woman. This is your moment. Like you're a goddess. You should own it. Embrace it. Slay the F out of it. This is your moment to shine, sweetheart. I think this is a very sensual but beautiful experience that you can have for your date with yourself. Another fun activity that you can do for your date with yourself is the fact that you can go on a beach and if you're into swimming, then you can swim on the beach, obviously. If you're into surfing, then you can also surf. Along with that, you can have a picnic on the beach, which I think is such a fun idea, especially in the summer. It's like you're enjoying the sunshine, the breathtaking, beautiful view of the the ocean and you have all your favorite snacks and food you can also do a mini spa day on the beach you can do a little face mask you can massage your body with your favorite oil you can do a mani and pedicure paint your nails you can also journal to connect with yourself on a deeper level and get in touch with yourself so many things that you can do on the beach and also read a book i'll let you choose whatever it is that you want to do for your date with yourself on the beach so yeah have fun and enjoy your date with yourself now the next fun activity that you can do which is if you can afford it then you can go to disneyland by yourself which i know sounds crazy but i would love to go on a disneyland with myself why wouldn't I? It would be so cool to eat all the delicious foods. Going alone to Disneyland or a holiday park or any like theme park, going alone with yourself, I think it would be a fun activity to do as well. And besides, honestly, you can connect with your inner child. Your inner child will definitely thank you for that. Moving on to the next fun activity or activities that you can do which is based on your inner child. Everything that you did when you're a child. Look into your childhood. What did you watch growing up? One of my favorite anime that I used to watch when I was a kid is Doraemon. Along with that, I cannot forget about Barbie. And so Barbie is my favorite childhood movie. It would be fun to watch your favorite childhood shows. Let me know in the comments down below which show, movie, or anime you loved watching in your childhood. I would love to know that. Or listening to favorite music that you used to listen to in your childhood. To all my music lovers, you're gonna love this a lot. Aside from watching your favorite childhood movie, show, or anime, what are some of your favorite activities that you used to do in your childhood? For me, one of them would be swinging. 
I love swinging and one thing that I do regularly is to go to the park early morning and I allow myself to swing as much as I want and it's like my inner child thanks me for that. If I were to have a date with myself, I would definitely go to the park and swing as much as I want or to go down the slide to connect with my inner child. If your inner child loved playing dress up, why don't you bring back playing dress up? You can do that for your date with yourself. I mean, honestly, you can play around with Halloween costumes or makeup, even if it's not Halloween. I mean, who cares? I don't, so neither should you. Uh, even if it's not Halloween, you can play some dress up, experiment with makeup i'll let you decide whatever it is that you want to do to connect with your inner child to finish off your date at the end of the day i want you to take some cute pictures of yourself or maybe also a video for yourself or so that you can keep this in your phone you'll have all those memories to look back when you went on a date with yourself whether it be just general on a normal day or or it was on Valentine's Day, or whether it was for your birthday, whatever day it was. Oh, and by the way, it doesn't matter if you take those cute pictures of yourself at the end of the day or at the start of your day when you have put on your makeup or got ready. It doesn't matter. Honestly, you can still take pictures even if you have no makeup on. Honestly, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Um, by the way, if you don't want to take a video of yourself, then that's okay as well. You can just take some pictures and have them as your memories. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as, as much as I enjoyed filming the video for you guys and scripting it and coming up with all these amazing ideas for your date with yourself that you can take and create your perfect and ideal date for yourself. If you want to learn how to master the art of practicing self-love, or if you just want to watch more videos about the topic self-love, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you won't miss out on my upcoming videos about self-love. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!